Millions of dollars gone tonight. We are following the money as a Desert Hot Springs City leader is voicing budget concerns. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco dives into the issue and why the mayor is saying spending is under control. A potential budget crisis is brewing in Desert Hot Springs. Council member Russell Betts is raising the issue on the heels of their most recent meeting. In simple terms, we're burning through our savings account to try and make ends meet. Betts was the only dissenting vote Tuesday night opposing the approval of the 2024-2025 fiscal year budget adjustments. He believes the public should have been given more time to weigh in. They've had less than three days to review this document it's got significant spending, significant drawdown in reserves. The city's savings account is down to roughly $7.5 million, down from the $13 million on hand two years ago. Mayor Scott Mattis says a portion going to one-time costs, like a homeless navigation center. When you have these opportunities for quality of life issues, I think we have to outweigh whether we continue to, you know, keep our reserves strong or we just we buy down on those a little bit. Other factors are also to blame for the city dipping into its reserves. If you look at the cannabis tax, we may have a huge decrease in there due to some non-collected taxes and some adjustments we had to make. So we had to borrow 2.1, I believe, from our reserves. Mattis says the city has tightened up some spending and cut unfilled positions at City Hall. The police department also rolled back on planned raises while other adjustments are made. Right now, no current city programs are on the chopping block. As for a way forward, that some on be, council uh, feel differently than others. We okay. need to reopen this budget discussion and take a good solid look at what our spending priorities are going in the future, involve the public in that. We have a long ways to go, but I believe our city staff has a good plan and they'll be presenting that plan sometime at the end of this year, first part of next year. In Desert Hot Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.